Hello everyone, and today we're going to take a look at the shuffle node, the brand new shuffle node that comes with Nuke. It's a lot different than the old one, so let's get right into it. And I'm show you, going to show you how to go from the old techniques to the new techniques and do some translation so it'll be an easier transition. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so here we are in our ever popular Nuke program. And let's take a look at our shuffle node to begin with. All right. So come in here and start going to use a shuffle node and we double click and look at this. What on earth is this? Okay, this is not what I'm used to seeing. And at first I was uh, taken aback by it and going, whoa, crap, I want my old shuffle node. And you can still get to it if you type in these commands here. You get your old shuffle, shuffle copy node in the script editor. So let's go ahead and run that. All right, and look at that. We got our old um, shuffle node back. All right, but we're going to move on and try to use the newer version. So let's start dealing with that. Okay, so let's grab the old shuffle node. And one thing that we like to do with our shuffle node is is fill out the mat or the alpha because by default most images don't have a alpha in it because we're looking at the alpha there's nothing in here look at the rgb and by default we usually come up here too and just hit that white button all right but the new shuffle node doesn't have a white button um but it does have these little marks here on the, if you can see here and that's exactly what these white buttons do so in order to do the same thing just hit that and you are good to go and so now this image look at it alpha is now white just like it is in this shuffle note so old new old new so that's pretty much how you use that to make things solid now the next thing we like to do with our shuffle note is flood channels so let's go ahead and bring in a, another sh old shuffle note here hook it up and you can see all these pretty different colors in here and we like the flood channels by hitting filling out these boxes with either be the red the green or the blue okay that's pretty much what we've been used to for a number of years but the new shuffle node doesn't have little buttons instead it has pipes and instead of hitting buttons you're now going to be dragging pipes so if you want to flood the red channel put it the red input here output red input to the green to the blue and to the alpha and that's going to yield you the same result as flooding in the red channel so let's just back come on there we go okay so there we go new way old way new way old way and they are exactly the same so this also makes it a little easier to understand than this way down here because you have your input here your output here and here you have to make like an L shape to go in then out here it's just a straight line whatever comes red goes to all these channels or if you use uh, other techniques if you want to do green then you put the greens into the red channel green channel, blue channel, and alpha if you want to flood the green. Um, and if you want to reset all of this, get it back to the original default, just grab this little, little hash cat tag pattern there and just drag it over. And now everything's been completely reset. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Say, look, everything's completely reset. All right, so that's pretty much how you flood the channel. Just grab one of these and then drag it into each one of these. So blue goes into all, the, all of them, green goes into all of them etc etc okay the next thing we use a shuffle for is to maybe bake in a uh, an alpha mat so we got this picture here and we want to cut out this girl's face and we got ourselves a roto shape here all right so there's a roto shape and that's probably might what you see from you now an outsourced facility and we want to do a shuffle copy oh we don't have a shuffle copy Hmm. Okay, so you know, you, some people will use a copy to dump it in there, but this isn't a copy tutorial. This is a shuffle 
tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and there's the command for bringing back the old shuffle copy. So let's go ahead and bring that back. Here it is. Old shuffle copy. Bring it in here. And this is what it looked like. So we have the number one with the alpha going out and RGBA with the number two. And add a pre malt. And we've cut the girl's face out. With the shuffle copy, as you can see, we have no shuffle copy in the new versions. All right, so let's go ahead and move that over, get these out of the way so we can see what we're doing. All right, so we pipe this in into the B channel, just like we did with the other examples. But if you notice, you zoom in here, a little triangle forms, at, look at that, an A channel. And also what they've done is rename these. So you get A over B, just like you do with a standard merge, A over B, we know how that works. And so instead of doing one and two, and trying to remember which one's over what, they went ahead and unified the naming conventions, which is brilliant, to be honest with you. All right, so we come in here to our panel, and but there's no secondary input. There's only one, two inputs here, but there's only one input here. Hmm, well, this is how you deal with that. All right, down here is your secondary input. So I'll set this to A, and in this case, we just want the alpha. And we have the alpha in, but we gotta send the alpha out, okay? And then connect them. And there you go. And that's pretty much it. This should, in theory, look like our old shuffle copy. So it's our RGB and the A, okay? So I've got our new shuffle, RGB and the A. So it looks exactly like, so if we put it pre -mult, it cuts it out just like our shuffle copy does. So there's your translation for that. And by doing this secondary input, it ignores whatever this was up here. So there is that. Now the next thing we use a shuffle copy for is embedding. Now those who have worked with me know I love embedding things and how infuriating it is to them, but I just love it. But this new technique, or the new graphic interface, well, might make it a little easier for people to understand. So let's go ahead and grab our shuffle. All right, our standard shuffle. All right, put that in there, get our little triangle in, and there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and embed this into our pipe so we can pull it out later or use it whenever we want. So again, we're gonna say, hey, there's a channel A in here now. We're gonna go ahead and do all of RGBA and we're gonna do all of RGBA out and we're going to drag this over to connect. Woohoo. But we want to embed it because remember, just like the old shuffles, let's bring in an old shuffle here. like the old shuffles, anything that goes out on the bottom level is behind the scenes, and anything going out on the top level is what they see on, on the stage, just like a uh, play or a movie. This is behind the scenes, this is in front of your face. Same thing up down here. So we're going to hit the new, and we'll call it, uh, let's call it uh, Indie Max, or we'll just call it generic mats. All right. Now we, we'll just leave them at uh, default. There's nothing changed about this. You can go in and name this like the red one being indie and the green one being the TIE fighter and the blue being the Jeep. But we'll just go ahead and, and leave it as is by default. So let's go ahead and click OK. And there we have it. This thing is now embedded. If we come over here. You see generic mats. And there they are. They're completely embedded. So if we want to come down here and hit a create a blur over everything or to one object, we can do that. So let's just blur indie, which is the red channel. So generic matte red, there it is. Boy, that looks hideous. All right, let's go ahead and not do that. Um, let's just color correct it instead. So bring it up for no whatever stupid reason, and we'll go ahead and make it just indie. All right, we can even pull that back out. So, oh, this is the old shuffle. Shuffle. 
shuffle? New shuffle? So if we want to pull that out, uh, before you had the drop down, well we still have that drop down and here it is. Uh, we'll go to generic mat and there they are. Now we've pulled this out. Um, I wish Nuke would allow you to grab more than one of these and drop them into the alpha channel or in more than one channel. So if I wanted to flood all these channels, I do the red, I look at the alpha, and I want to do the green as well. It unlocks, so you can only do one thing into one channel at a time, which I wish you could do more. That way you don't have to do an extra step to flood. So in order to do your flood, you still have to do it the old fashioned way, which is use an expression and then go either R plus green plus blue, oops, plus blue, and then you've flooded the alpha. Or you can do, if you want to make sure that those seams are 100% accurate, then you go max R comma green comma blue. So, and that's how you flood, just like the old days. Um, but yeah, so there is the shuffle node in a nutshell. A brand new way to work with the shuffle node. So, hopefully that all will get you guys going in the right direction. And uh, I'll see you next time. Talk to you later. Bye.